Oh, shit. God damn it. Isn't the fucking. Oh! Well, well, howdy, everybody. You may be questioning why I look like I jumped straight out of a TV show, and that is because I have. If you cannot tell, I am dressed up as Charlie Morningstar from Hasbun Hotel. As you can tell, this is a peak recreation of this character. Let me move this a little closer. Let me say that again. This is a peak recreation of this character. This, this costume, this cosplay is the best you'll ever see. This is the best Charlie cosplay you will ever see. Okay, we all know that's a load of bullshit. But honestly, check out, check out that eyeshadow. I mean, like, you know, the rest of the face might be a little fucked. Well, you know, the thing is, is the rest of the face isn't even fucked. I mean, like, look at this, look at this. This is rare beauty, you guys. This right here is rare beauty. Uh, with white foundation on top. Like, and, and, and you, you know what? It's not just rare beauty. I, I don't, so, so at Safeway, or yeah, Safeway, Longs. Longs Drugs, Longs Drugs. So at Longs Drugs, by my house, they were selling this illuminator I don't know much about makeup. I just think I think it could be cool if used correctly. And I will say it wasn't really used the best today. <laughs> I added the black on the nose because everyone does it, but then it smeared and it looks gross. And we're not even gonna talk about this contour. Look at this contour, you guys. I, I did a good job on the face until I decided to add contour and try and add depth. And that's kind of where it lost its sparkle. So basically where I was going with this is I'm coming to eat your children. You got to admit it was, God, I'm trying to like make this look a bit more natural. This is like super, my monitor's right here and the camera's right here. Good, good people, good. Well, me and my dad, I got really into Hasbun Hotel for a hot minute, and so I was watching a lot of it. And then I got my dad into it. Well, because I like Hell of a Boss, so I actually originally started off watching Hell of a Boss. I will show you a picture of this cosplay from the correct angle to view it at, and you'll see it's not as bad as it looks from this angle. But now I'm suddenly understanding why no one wanted to take pictures with me. No, I'm kidding. No, I had a decent amount of people ask for pictures. Uh, they mainly wanted pictures of my dad though, because he was dressed up as Lucifer and his wife was dressed up as Lilith. By the way, if you're wondering what the white's from, the white is actually from Sunset Makeup. It's not as opaque as they say it is, but it does layer pretty good. Yeah, like, you guys ready for this? Actually, you know, honestly, that's pretty good coverage. I am, um, this was all one coat. One coat and setting powder. Wow. No one really recognized me, which was kind of unfortunate. I had I actually had one teenage boy. He walked up to my dad and he went, Oh, are you a magician? And I went, and my dad didn't explain. And so I, I stopped the guy and I was like, No, he's actually he's from Hasbun Hotel. And the the guy went, What? And I went, Hasbun Hotel. And then he just rolled his eyes and like walked away and I was like, my bad. 
like, didn't know I was gonna be, like, insulting you. I didn't understand. I don't know what I did to make you upset, but okay. I don't know. It's, it's hard whenever it comes to situations like that where it's like you don't know the person. So it's like even more confusing because it's like, there was no reason for him to be upset. I don't know, it, it bugs me. I, it shouldn't. I, mean, I know I'm just, I'm gonna think about that for a minute now. God, my eyes look like a different human being. I gotta show this, Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. But I also, I didn't wear a wig this time either. I had a wig, um, which I will show pictures of now, of when I wore it to Comic-Con, but that was not a well done wig. Dino Bunny, Dino Bunny cosplay, teach me how to wig. Oh. I don't know if you guys have watched Dino Bunny cosplay, but I love their stuff. I have unironically been following their Mario lore series for like a hot minute now. Which, you know, when I first started watching it, I felt really ashamed because I was like, come on, like it's a Mario lore, but it's good. They have good writing. I'm invested. I want Peach to like find independence from her family and shit. Also, I know I shouldn't be scrubbing my eyes this hard because I have contacts in. But also, I just, they're so, they're itchy. I hate, I hate having makeup on my eyes. Also, I love my eyes. I know this is like off topic, but I really love my eyes. I remember in like grade school, I used to have people be like, your eyes are brown. And I'm like, do they look brown to you? Like, do they look brown to you? I have green eyes and everyone can shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let me have them. <laughs> they are captivating and hypnotizing. I got, anytime I take the Hogwarts test, I get Slytherin, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know that doesn't mean I necessarily have green eyes, but. <laughs> I will say though, it is really cool to see how, how much like consistency has affected the channel and how much it's even like affected me. Because you know, it's like, I think every single day about uploading a video, about editing a video, about recording a video, it's what I obsess over every day. And I think there's also this part of me that feels like it doesn't matter because it's not like I'm gonna get anywhere with it. But also, there's so many people that I wanna be like. And I realize that I'm never gonna be like those people. There's, there's traits I see in people that I admire. And one of the biggest traits is working hard and consistency. And what the fuck? Why did you just grab Carlos? This is Carlos. My cat just took him. Don't take Carlos. Carlos is not a toy. Carlos is gonna sit up here with the, for the rest of the video. This is Carlos. The reason why there's a pile of clothes there, which you guys are also probably gonna see in the next video I upload, um, that isn't my pre-recorded stash, is because I was trying to find my outfit <laughs> for tonight. And so I just dumped the whole basket of clean clothing on the, the couch and I just said, okay, and moved on. I know that's not good. I know that's not like what I should be doing, but that's what I did. So, this is what I'm gonna have to live with until I can pull myself to actually put away the fucking laundry. <laughs> That's me for you! That's me! I am like a master procrastinator! Master procrastinator! I can procrastinate! Day, night, day, night, day, night! That's my job! If only there was a job and just procrastinate. Never mind, I'm not gonna say it. I think there's a couple jobs that are like that. 
I, there's definitely a couple jobs that are like explicitly made just to procrastinate. <laughs> I've been talking for who knows how long now. I'm gonna end the video. Halloween was good. You won't, you can't, you suck. How does it feel to know that your feet are smaller than my feet? Does it give you a sense of shame? Sense of resentment? Does it make you feel like the world's coming to an end? Or maybe, maybe you're just imagining it. Maybe this is all in your head. Maybe you're in a simulation. Who knows? Anyways, have a nice night, you guys, and have a happy Halloween. I don't know if this will come out day of Halloween or day after Halloween, because it's already 10.22 p.m. here, and that means I'm gonna have to stay up and upload this, but it's gonna take me a couple hours to upload. Um, and also this is Hawaii time, so even a couple hours from now, that would be like midnight, so. Doesn't it suck this suck? Anyways, anyways, I'm out. Have a nice night, you guys. I hope you had a happy Halloween. This is Silver Fatigue, signing off.